Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. I am in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, and I'm checking out a 2016 Jeep Renegade four-wheel drive in the Batman vs. Superman Special Edition. Really like the Renegade by itself, but just adding the little embellishments for the Batman and Superman movie really makes it even more awesome to me anyway. So let's go ahead and check it out. The alloy wheels are 18 inch, painted in a gloss black, which is pretty neat. Accents the vehicle well. And then you have four wheel disc brakes with solid disc brakes in the back and ventilated in the front. The name of this color is Carbon Black Metallic. And it's looking pretty sharp. And check out this front end. You have the seven slot grill, but then you have the matte black and then the gloss black accents there in the front halogen fog lights and headlights and a reflector design so this is what the key looks like you have the, it's a proximity key and you have the lock and unlock buttons remote start panic button there's the back of it with the jeep name and then you have a physical key on the inside just in case you need it proximity key is designed to keep it in your pocket if you want to you just walk up to the vehicle you can lock the vehicle by pushing that button, or you can just put your hand behind the handle and it unlocks the vehicle automatically. Okay, let's say, take a look here on the inside of the passenger door. And it has soft to the touch all the way around your arm right in here. And it's all just a, mostly a, like a matte black, except for this gloss speaker uh, bezel there, which is looking pretty cool. Here's your threshold. You can see it has plenty of leg room here in the front. You have the gloss and the black accents there. And the seats are pretty cool. They kind of remind me of Batman's outer suit. Right there. Manually adjusted seats here on the passenger side. I like the way it has the clip-in floor mats. And I highly recommend the rubber mats, actually, to replace the cloth. That would be even better. Lockable glove compartment. And it's a smooth plastic on the inside. And it is pretty good size. Privacy glass really helps out with accenting the whole blacked out look. But let's go ahead and take a look here in the back. Seats here and you have that same styling in the seats with the Batman style. That's what I call it. Maybe it's not intended to be that, but that's what it looks like. And then the back's, back door is similar to the front as far as styling. You also have a 115 volt AC 150 watt power outlet back here. Something, an Edison plug, sort of like what you would see in your house. In case you want to charge your laptop or cell phone or whatever. And these seats will fold down just in case you need some more cargo space, which we'll get into that in a minute. You have a pretty good size armrest that kind of folds down, and then you have some cup holders there in the center. So the fuel door is on the passenger side, so you can have the passenger pump the gas for you. Let's go ahead and open it up, and you can see it's a capless design, so you don't have to worry about a putting a cap but check it out this is something that they didn't have in previous uh, years this little rubber thing that actually goes over the gas nozzle place I guess you can call it uh, to kind of help keep it clean you will need to use a funnel uh, if you need to uh, use a gas can but other than that you just put the nozzle in pump the gas you're good to go and check it out a little Easter egg in there with a little spider that says chow baby so let's go ahead and take a look here in the back you can see it has the gas can style shape lights here in the back and but check it out you have this gloss black batman versus superman emblem here on the back which is looking pretty awesome really doesn't really stand out much but it really once you notice it you're like whoa what is that that's pretty cool so uh that's the main feature as far as the uh it's tail kind of cluing you in that it's the batman versus superman um special edition that's the only thing that has a batman superman emblem on the vehicle all right so we have a backup can camera right here in the center so let's go ahead and open up the back there's a little button under here open it up you can take a look at the cargo space you have this net pocket there on the right Grocery bag hangers, there's a light there. You also have a 12 volt power supply here on the left side with a light and a net cargo pocket and grocery bag hangers on that side. You also have the cargo tie downs on all four corners. Now you wanna pay attention to the 
the latch system if you're putting in a car seat that's your, that's where you put your anchor you don't want to hook it up to the to that so that you want to differentiate those two so the cargo area is quite versatile of course you can fold the seats down the center armrest when it folds down and gives you that little bit of a pass through place in case you need to put a long box or something in there but if you need to add to the cargo space you could just fold down the seats uh, one or the other or both depending on your um, your need for passenger and, and, and cargo space but uh, but in addition to that you can also lift this up you can put some stuff in here out of sight if you need to but this will also this cover is removable so you can just take it out it's reversible it has a more durable side on one side but you can also put it down in this bottom position so that way you can have more height in case you need more height um, so you can also put it like this and kind of stand it up like so so that way you can kind of organize your stuff or whatever and then under here is the tire inflator kit now this vehicle you can either have the spare tire or the tire inflator kit so this one in particular does not have a spare tire of course you can use that space under there for more cargo storage space in case you need that since it doesn't have the spare tire it has a little sasquatch in the back window a little bigfoot i was kind of hoping that it would have like batman or superman or both of them back there but it just they're just sticking with the tradition the bigfoot that's in all the rest of them so to start the vehicle if you don't want to use the remote start and you want to have an adventure like it says here next to the start button you just put your foot on the brake and then hold it and as long as the key's inside the vehicle, you can just push this button and it'll start right up. So here's the floorboard in front of the driver's seat. You can see the floor mat clips in place, keeping it out of the way. Then you have a place for your left foot there and you have the brake and accelerator pedal there. So let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. So to open up the hood, there's a little latch right here just under the P. Move it to the left right there and you can lift it up. Very light, lightweight hood it's, and it's latched with two positions there, one on each side. So you have a 2.4 liter Tiger Shark multi-air four-cylinder engine with a nine-speed automatic transmission and everything's color coded. You do it does require a prop here to hold up the hood, but it's fairly light, so I'm just kind of holding it up right now. It's covered up with plastic though, it has this big plastic cover, but you can see a little bit of engine around the sides. Let's take a look on the inside of the driver's side door. It's just like the other side, except for it has a few more buttons. You have the door lock buttons there, power windows, and the front two are automatic up and down. And then you have the side mirror adjustments right here so let's go ahead and see how fast these windows roll up and down it's pretty cool okay so you have a powered adjustable seat here with power adjustable lumbar support as well which is awesome really like the seats black cloth seats looking like Batman so right in here you have your headlight controls with an automatic feature and your fog lights are turned on by push this button and then you have some ambient light controls and your interior gauge controls there the steering column is a tilt and a telescoping steering column and you lock it in place with this little lever okay let's go ahead and take a look here on the inside and it has that handle there i remember when i was a kid for when i first saw a jeep wrangler that had that Kind of a metal hand handle protruding on that side that was kind of iconic for me anyway okay so let's go ahead and start here on the steering wheel it's a leather wrapped steering wheel and it's very it has like a, a slight texture to it but it's very high quality feeling with the stitching on the inside really good thickness and just overall feels good it's a good size then you have the gloss embellished buttons here on the steering wheel you have your Bluetooth controls, you have your cruise control there to the right, and then you have these buttons that control the screen here in the center of the gauges, which we'll get to in a minute. On the back of the steering wheel, on both sides, you have this up and down uh, switch on the right side and the left, and the right side controls the volume for the radio, and the left side you can cycle through the, um, the stations on the radio. You have your windshield wiper controls there on the right, 
and then your turn signal there and your dimmer switch for your high beams. So here's your gauges. You have your RPMs on the left, speedometer there on the right, your fuel gauge right in here in this area, and then you have your temperature gauge. Right in the center you have this screen which is controlled with these buttons. So I'm going to kind of scroll through just to kind of show you the different things. You have the digital speedometer. It's kind of like a full menu system. <clears throat> this is your, um, your vehicle information. Uh, you get your tire pressure and your coolant temperature, transmission temperature, oil temperature, battery voltage, and all that good stuff. Scrolling down again, we have the, your uh, fuel economy, like your average and current miles per gallon. And then you have a trip A and trip B, and you can have your distance, your average miles per gallon, and your time. And then what your radio is doing, when I scroll down again, scroll down again, messages will be stored here. And then you can set up this screen to where you can have different information on the outside. So like right here on the top left, it says SE. That means the vehicle is facing southeast. That's your digital compass. So you can change that to something different, like say your range, like how many miles you can drive before you have to put gas in it. All right, and this will probably be my uh, default screen. I'm going to put it back to miles per hour there. Um, as far as digital speedometer, that's what I would have. Okay, so you can see your vents here at the top. It says since 1941 here at the top as well. So your radio is a combination of a touch screen here and then you have the buttons around the outside. So right now we're on the radio screen. So we can cycle through AM, FM or satellite radio. You have your presets there at the top. You can cycle through stations like so. You can also browse through different genres and stuff like that if you need to on the um, on the satellite radio you have a traditional volume and tune through the stations knob as well and then your media this is where you would you know connect another device like say uh, plug a device in your USB or your auxiliary input or your Bluetooth audio so you have those options there your phone once you pair your phone with the system you have access to your phone book recent calls a little keypad here you can also transfer it back to your cell phone in case you want to have a private call you can turn the screen off if it's just annoying you you can also have a compass Let's go ahead and push that. That's pretty neat. As you're driving, you can see where you're going. And then you can also have a clock, which is pretty cool. In case you're headed to work or something and you really need to uh, focus on the time, you can just have this big uh, clock there and you have your outside temperature. And then you can go into all kinds of different settings if you want to change you know, your door, doors and locks, your audio, um, pair of phones, that kind of stuff in there. There's the mute button and then a back button. That's some screens you can go back out of. So that's what the back button's for. There's your four-way flashers. So down here's your climate control. And the climate control is pretty cool. Right now it's turned off. So let's go ahead and turn that on so you can see. Let me turn the fan down. It has your temperatures here and here. And then you have that you can recirculate the air where you want the air to blow. Your fan speed's there in the center. And uh, front and rear defrosters. And I like the way you can just kind of set it and forget it with the with the actual temperature. You just hit auto and then just go for it. You can also sync it. Right now it's synced. So if I adjust the temperature on this side, it's going to be the same on the other. But I can unsync it by pushing that button. Or I can just cycle this one and it'll unsync it for me. So down in here, you'll find a 12-volt power supply. And you can see it has the key there, so that tells you that it's turned on and off with the ignition. And then you have your USB and auxiliary inputs there, and your four-wheel drive controls. So you have a snow stand and mud controls there, and a four-wheel drive lock. So this is, has a pretty advanced four-wheel drive system for a vehicle like this. It's not just like an all-wheel drive. So here's your shifter. And like I said, it's a nine-speed automatic transmission. So let's go ahead and put it in reverse so we can see what the backup camera looks like. It's kind of a small screen, but you can see it pretty good because of the clarity of the, uh, the contrast and everything like that. So you can see it's a wide angle lens, so you're going to have some distortions around the edge. But you do have those lines there, those grid lines to kind of give you an idea of which way you're going. As you turn the steering wheel, they will also turn as well. And then you can cycle down here to neutral. There's your normal drive position, and you can go over here to a manual, uh, like a ratchet shifter type thing, to cycle through the gear ratios in case you need to. So right in here you have an electronic parking brake and then to the right is your traction control. Cup holders here surrounded by gloss black embellishments which is looking pretty awesome. So here's your armrest and it's kind of small so it's going to be kind of hard to share it with the passenger. 
but it is very soft and comfortable and it will slide forward and back and it also lifts up and it kind of reveals this little pocket here where you find a USB charger and a little place uh, for your wires to go in and out right here and you see it has a little map in that pocket down there at the bottom you also have a similar map design in the bottom of that pocket as well which is pretty neat lots of different Easter eggs and I have quite a few videos pointing them out so I'm not going to go into too much detail on those okay so up here you have an auto dim rear view mirror and it has the auto dim switch right there so you can turn that feature on and off here's the visors and they have mirrors and lights in them you also have the little shade right here that slides out which is pretty cool right up in here you have some lights that you can turn on in case you need those and there's a little ambient light that shines out of that hole uh, at nighttime to kind of illuminate some area there in the center of the vehicle take a look at the visibility here in the back you see pretty good you have plenty of glass to look out of the rear of glass is very easy to see out of and of course you have the backup camera to help you out with backing up just to kind of give you some certainty as you're backing up all right so there you have it 2016 batman versus superman special edition jeep renegade pretty cool so what do you think let me know in the comments Thank you for watching and thank you to Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Whiteville, North Carolina for allowing me to show off an awesome vehicle and I'll see you guys next time right after I show you the window sticker. Let's take a quick peek of this. Yeah. Of course you can use the pause button to get some more details but there you go. See you next time.